And uh, in 2005, he approached us again, approached me again, and said, Letty, do you want the sausage shop? And I said, no, Joe, it's too much work. In passing, I, I told him about the, the uh, offer, and uh, he and, says, well... And that's when I started considering, well, you know what, maybe, you know, I was getting close to retiring. I used to work for El Paso Independent School District. And, um, you know, and then every time we saw him, he... You know, he would throw that at us, you know, hey, buy the sausage shop. Sausage shop. <laughs> and then, you know, as I was getting closer to retirement, like I said, I said, well, you know what, maybe so I'll think about it. And then when I got close to retiring, then I said, okay, you know what, Joe, I gave him a call. And then he answered, and then he said, you better be calling me because you want to buy the shop. I go, you know what, Joe, I do. We do want to buy the shop. Yeah. That's exactly why I'm calling you. Yeah. You know, so yeah, then, you know, we sat down and talked about it, and, you know, and then the but. Um, Joe said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and uh, train you, Train you. We're, you know, I'm going to teach you the sausage business. So he taught me for a whole year, a whole year. All of 2006. All right. Every day, you know what, I would, you know, uh, I would come here and make sausage and, you know, he teach me everything and the spices, you know, what spices work well with, you know, certain type of sausages. And, you know, that's how we got started. And after a year, you know what? He, January 1st, yeah, said, yeah. 2007. He that's said, You're the ready. first day. Yeah, he gave me the stamp of approval and said, all right. And um, then when we took over, like I say, come January 1st, 2007, you know, it was going to be Super Bowl Sunday and we had no idea and it just couldn't be us too. So we had our children come in as well. And not only our children, but we've had nieces and nephews come in. And, 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 and grandchildren. They, and grandchildren. Now, as, now it's the grandchildren. Now it's the grandchildren. But we've learned, yeah, it's like three generations. And we've, um, they have started their job careers or their their job experience, I should say. Right here at the sausage shop. Here at the sausage shop. So then they, they start learning the basics of, you know, uh, being an employee and what is expected of an employee, the uh, payroll process, the timesheets and stuff. So it, it has been a very good experience for everybody involved. And um, when I was in at uh, working for the school district, I worked in special ed. And we even had a couple of our students that were special ed students come in and work here as well. Miguel was here for three years. And um, so it has been a really good uh, experience for everybody. The families, our friends, um, distant relatives, and just everybody. Right. Yeah, yeah. Everybody involved. It's been really good. You know what? I do have a, a little uh, story. It's when we first started in January of 2007, um, like I say, we thought he knew exactly what to do with the sausage making and everything, but we didn't know. Well, we forgot actually that Super Bowl was coming. And so we thought our freezers were stocked and ready to go. We were so mistaken. We had a rude awakening and Joe even, <laughs> Joe even uh, warned us. He goes, You guys, you better be ready for Super Bowl, but we don't know what. You know, okay, well, we'll be ready. You know, but, you know, when he said, we didn't know what he meant by, well, you better be ready. Just, okay, we have enough sausage. But no, man, we we were swamped, you know. We were running out of sausage. We were here all night making sausage. To three in the morning yeah. making sausage just so that we could keep up with mm -hmm. the demand, the two of us. And we had our children, our older children, helping us as well. Um, but the one thing that I remember that Joe was so, so impressed with us was that since we started making the sausage here, because he never really did make the sausage here, it was... Um, at home is the uh, he really liked because people would see us making the sausage and you know people say you never want to see how sausage is made well they did and they really enjoyed it and so that created a whole kind of you know watching us and he loved it like I say Miguel said he would come every Saturday I would make something to eat he would sit here and eat with us and and see the process of us making the sausage, and he really, really liked the fact that we were making it here, and people were watching us. So that was really nice. He he got a he got a little thrill out of that. And when he first started, he was only taking cash. So when we started, we started taking credit cards and checks, 
on debit cards and stuff. And so that was another thing that he was really impressed. Right. Plus, he, he wanted to do that, but he just never got to it. He never got to it. Plus, we also started, to, you know, taking SNAP. Plus, we do uh, occasionally ship. Um, we've shipped. Whew. New York, uh, yeah, New Jersey, and mm -hmm. you know, uh, California, you yes. know, and uh, mainly in the east. So, yeah, in the east. Yeah, mm -hmm. believe it or not, and they have sausages, you know, shops, or stores over there. They sell, but um, they've been in El Paso. They've come where they have family, whatever, and they come to the shop, and they prefer. And, ours. and you know what? What happens during the holidays? You know, Easter. You know, Just, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Uh, uh, customers or people that come to El Paso take. for to visit, they'll come here and take a bunch back home. Pounds and pounds right. of it. Yeah, they do. Uh -huh. They say, well, no, now we're not possible visiting family, so we're going to take advantage of taking some back. Yeah. You know? And then we have a trucker that comes through El Paso. <laughs> yes. You know, and, he, and he, he'll give us a call. And he'll say, hey, uh, I'm going I, I'm gonna pass by El Paso, man. You know, uh, can you give me some, you know, put an, an order together? I said, yeah, sure, man. And then he'll let us know when he's uh, close by. I even, uh, we're at home. If he's on a weekend, I said, you know what? If you're coming by, give me a call. I'll meet you there. And then he'll park his big old semi there, <laughs> bring down an ice chest, and we'll fill it up, and he'll take off to California. And we're talking hundreds of dollars. You know, he takes so, a lot, yeah. a lot of sausage. Uh, as far as our future goes, I'm going to say maybe another five years, you know. Because, I mean, I don't, you know, uh, I, I want to be able to, Retire and just spend time, you know. We, we would wanna... love, we would love for a, a family member to have it to pick mm -hmm. it up, but we also have a, a people that have asked us that, that you will know, let us know that they're interested in buying the business. But we would prefer family, you know. That would be nice. But if it doesn't happen like that, because then you know, possibly we would try and sell it to maybe a meat market or mm -hmm. um, a restaurant that that deals with, you know sausage and stuff that they sell so we'll see joe was kind enough to share his recipes with us and um this business has allowed us things that we probably would not have been able to um go do like for example go to rome we went to rome and you know things like that the business has helped us with financially in a lot of aspects and so uh, we would want to be able to do the same for somebody else.